Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, I was watching a channel with Miriam Emberson from over in England. She bought one of these pancake, mini pancakes, and made it made me want to run out and buy one of these <laughs> to do embossing and then work with shrinky dinks. So I want to show you um, some things that I'm doing to make ephemeral pieces and that with it. Um, so this gets really hot. There's no on and off switch. And I need my, my mini melt. I'm going to plug this in and it gets hot. So I cut out parchment paper, four inch circles. Um, I cut a bunch of them out and then I just scrape them to keep reusing and everything. But the first thing that I want to show you is I have different pieces here of cardstock and um, wooden pieces and that. And I did try it with using um, embossing and also shrinky dink material it works great so now this was an, a butter knife but it's easy for me to scoop this out of here so i repurposed this because i never use this to scrape butter <laughs> so i just want to let you know what they did with that okay so this is getting warm already and she did it with um, dumping it over, but I'm going to show you with cardstock. I am going to take um, Versifying ink because it makes it sticky. And I'm going to use my tweezers. I'm going to push this in to make this sticky. that the embossing sticks to it. And she dumps hers right on here, but I, I'm i just gonna put pour mine over here and then pour it back into the barrel, well, into the container. And what it does is it makes it look like a plastic. Wait a minute here. And uh, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to put my parchment paper in there. And I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to leave it kind of really full. Lay that in there. I'm going to close the lid. And while that's cooking, I'm going to dump this back into the tub. And this is... Um, blush pearl and with the wooden figurine or the wooden pieces I colored these with rub oh what is it alcohol markers I think it works with any alcohol and I did shading and everything so for this one I'm just going to put a clear clear on it while that one's working. Same thing, I'm going to take and press it in that it makes it sticky, that it's the embossing powder sticks on. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna show you can you see how that makes it really pretty for titles? And it doesn't take long for it to dry. And, and then it adds dimension to if you're, if you're putting them on your cards and that. So I'm just doing a bunch to, um, whoops. See it cold already, but I'm doing a bunch to put on my card making and journal books. So I'm gonna scrape this off. 
because it comes right off the parchment paper and you can reuse it again and again. And I'm going to put this back in here. I don't want to put it right on the plate because of it. And I'm not going to use this to cook. I'm just using this for crafts. It's perfect for these small sizes and everything. I'm going to dump this because now I have the pink in there. I'm going to put this in the trash. I'll show you this one too. This one, I'm going to put clear on it. This I colored with alcohol markers. And the main thing is to get it to stick to the cardstock. I make sure it's all sticky. This one I'm going to pour. So while that's doing its thing, it needs a little more here I don't think I got more in the S but it adds a real nice shine it looks like plastic because as you can see here it makes it real plasticky and really adds a nice nice uh, texture especially this this um, blush I really like that color I did hearts with it before, and the hearts turned out beautiful. Okay, it's not quite done, but you can see it's still melting. It takes the wood a little bit longer to to uh, melt. But there's heat on the top and the bottom from the on the wood pieces, and it seems that it works really good on the wood pieces. The Shrinky Dinks is the best. I... I tried it. This is, I got this at the Hobby Lobby and I did see that it also, they have it in um, Amazon. I'm thinking about ordering some black because I do make like earrings and that, I, and charms I've done for um, the granddaughters. And just wanna check this one more time. Still looks a little wet. Maybe there was something mixed in there. There's looks like there's white mixed in there. Let me put this down one more time to see. I'm gonna stick this. On here can you see oops <laughs> well look what I did <laughs> okay well let me throw this one on quick <laughs> and melt that that one won't take as long and I'll redo this <laughs> I did find out if you make a mistake it did take color off <laughs> let me put this back into the pot and tried doing the, the carrot over again. <laughs> Just gonna add a little more back on there again. I know that she was, uh, Marion was talking about making pins and everything uh, with hers. Because uh, she had gold and everything, and it did look like an actual pin in that. Okay, I'm just gonna remount that. Wait till this comes out. It seems that the cardstock goes really quick. Let's see, the cardstock goes really quick, and that was just colored with um, um, alcohol markers, and that really does give a glassy glossy look i'm gonna put that one in now try remounting this again i did see that you know no matter what you know if you mess up you can heat it up again and it will remelt 
I have a bird here. This one's a little bit thinner. Stick him. Make him glossy. Put it on its tail here. Oh, the carrot's starting to melt again really good. I'm going to stick the bird in there, too. I don't know if you can see it real good or not. Let's stick that down. Pour this back in. I made some bunnies, too. They're as thick as the, the carrot. I think I got these from... Um, Dollar Tree. The other ones I got from Hobby Lobby because I was trying different ones. See how nice it's melding down and it puts like a dome over it. Keep it down. The wooden pieces take a little bit longer to do. And the main thing is you have to, I know um, Miriam takes and puts um, toothpicks in the verse mark and then she moves it or she lays underneath. And But she pours her um, embossings on top. And I just figured these, I can make a bunch of them and put them in my ephemera pieces. And when I need them, I can pull them out. Let me check it again. Oh, the carrot is finished. Now I have to be more gentle with the carrot. Let me move the bird down here. And this. Just because I cannot <laughs> drop this again. I will now I'll lift it up. See how it made it? Once it dries, it takes a little while for it to dry. I'll put that on my silicone map. But the bird, you can see, is really getting cute. I might as well do these right away, too. I want to show you with the shrinky dinks. I'm going to... I colored this with... Um, oh, these Diamond Press um, gel markers. These or the oil pastels. I, and then I rubbed it down to get the colors and everything. And I want to see, I never tried it with this, so I want to see how the heat reacts to the oil, if it's going to come off or not. I colored them on both sides because I didn't know which way I wanted to have them. This one I didn't, I only colored them on the one side. These are a lot thicker though. I, I'm pretty sure these were the ones that were from uh, Dollar Tree. What I'm trying to do is make sure that I have it pretty well covered up. See the bird? Oh, the bird came out beautiful. Let me pull this all the way out. See? The bird really got pretty. I'm going to put that over there. Okay. Take the bunny rabbits put them in. This doesn't take long either. Uh, you can see because this these plates, there's no shut off or anything and they go quick. Ooh, 
I think that's all the wooden pieces that I'm going to try in the paper. You got an idea of how they work. Those were just more in federal pieces that I want to do later on. I'm just going to try these colors too, but they're good the way I did it. I wonder if this is cool yet. Yeah. So it's like a plastic coating, you can see. And it gives it more dimension. Really, I think with the coloring on it, um, really, it does, it looks like a piece of glass when you do them. Really a nice piece of glass. So when I did the shrinky dinks, I'm gonna show you here. So this was out of diamond press. Let me check the bunny rabbit quick. Nope. So I used um, the stamp cottage and garden kit. Um, you have to stamp stays on, on the pieces. Let them sit for a while. Well, first, I cut them out with the die cuts because I have special die cuts that for these pieces, as you can see. So once you put, put the stays on, you let it dry, that it's set up. Then I turned it on the back, and I took the alcohol um, markers. The, I, I just use I th any art alcohol, but I use the tri-blends painted them the way I want it. Now, right now, they show really light. This is the snail. To give you an idea, I did this one already, and that is the snail. That That's how much it shrank down. And what's cool about these is you can turn them, once they're done, you can turn them, flip them around to make them go in either direction. So, I just wanted to show you how much it shrank it down and you know what it still shows all the detail that you stamped in it and everything you should put it on a uh, right here that you can see but it it really shrinks it down but it makes cute ephemera pieces if you're going to put them on i'm working on this card here and it looks really cute to put on I mean, you can have him look like he's crawling on this rod iron. I'm still working on this, so I don't know what I'm doing yet with that. But just to give you an idea, now that I have this bird done, I don't know. Now it looks like I want to put the bird on instead. I don't know. Really? I, I don't know. Let me check the bunnies up here. Nope, the bunnies are not done yet. You gotta be cooking a little longer. I don't know, um, that oil one, I don't know, it's throwing off a smell now. I didn't smell it with the other one, but I'm wondering if it's the oil crayon. And it seems like it's getting chalky in there. Like, just turn it a little bit, let it cook a little bit longer. I might as well get another. So anyways, I cut a bunch of these, put them in my folder that I have them, and that I can, once I'm done with them, I put them back in the folder to keep them flat so I can keep them to use in here. Because now that I learned how to play with this and use it, I've been having fun. And I just wanted to share with you what, you know, because once these pieces shrink down, they're a nice size to add on to if you're doing a smaller card and say you use this on your card as a stamp and that you can use the smaller pieces like it's a further away distance like to rearrange it and I want to show you you could do titles because some of um, Diamond Press has them huge titles, but it can't be more than four inches because this is only a four inch cut to put your things in. So just want to let you know. 
think I'm going to pull them out. They're still white. I don't know if I have white mixed in with it, but I think it kind of looks cute. It looks like there's fur on them. So I'm going to let them dry. And I'm going to put this in. Now, when you put this in, it curls up. And it's better than holding it with my hot air um, heat thing. And I'll show you. See how it curls up? I'm going to keep it on because it will curl up and then it automatically they start straightening itself out and you'll think oh no once you if you keep picking it up you're going to say wow this is messed up but you can keep heating this and then working with it i, I usually have to work with my tweezers or um uh, i took most of the knife if i use the heat gun and I'm holding it. I seem to be putting holes in it. There we go. See how it shrunk it down? Now what I do is I just go and flatten it more. And let me put it on this card. And see how much detail is on it now? And it's perfect to add on to the cards uh, to do smaller. You can even do an all white card and put this on for more detail. And this one that I'm gonna put in. And if I do earrings or something, I punch a hole in before I start shrinking it. That way I can get my, uh, the ring to put in to hook on or to a charm to do the jump ring, to put the jump ring into it. So I did two titles, um, just a little note to say hello, and then from small seed of kindness, friendship grows. I wanted it to see, you know, with some, cause sometimes I don't want to put a big sentiment and I want to put it on the card. I tried the, I'm trying these bees too. And I'm pretty sure since it did the snail pretty small that it was going to do them. Like I said, it doesn't take long. You don't need the oven anymore. And I'm just going to flatten them out. That way I know I can put them into my uh, thing. The main thing to remember is when you color them, flip them on the other side. Even when the stays on is dry okay I'm gonna try the sentiment now and close that and this thing is really who would think a pancake maker would be able to do this I love doing the shrinky dink so but this um, with the words it gives it a whole new dimension. Like, it looks like it is um, painted. That's why it, the, on the cardstock, it's... And if you get different color um, embossing, you can really get some beautiful uh, sentiments to cut out. And like I said, I, I use this with the alcohol arcers and just colored it to see how that would come out and that was clear that I put on there look at that because I can make a miniature <laughs> miniature land here And when you fasten them, you just have to use a hot glue. Okay, I'm going to throw this one on. You can watch how it starts to curl it. If you put the heat on top, then see how it buckles it up. I'm going to put the heat down, though, so it's like evenly that it starts curling. I've seen a lady make flowers, but she used the heat gun to, and kept rolling it. 
to make flower earrings on a uh, channel and that really looked pretty too. And that's a little bumped up. And it, it once it's finished, it will stop. It will stop uh, shrinking. It shrinks down to its size. And then what I try to do is flatten it. That way I know. And it's about yay thick, but it works perfect. Okay, I'm gonna try the bird. You gotta throw the bees on there too right away. Get them all cleaned up. Yeah, so I want to thank Miriam for showing. Is it Miriam? Miriam? Yeah, I think Emerson. But um, she's been doing a lot with hers. And she's been uh, dumping the uh, embossing powders in on the parchment paper. And then she's die cutting. She said she lays wax paper or parchment paper before she runs it through the die cutter. So it doesn't damage the dye or anything. And uh, I did punch one with one of the punches out of a heart. I did sprinkle it. And then uh, you can use the outside of it to, for the leftover and use that for on a card. Now she has a lot more colors. It's from WOW. But mine are from Hobby Lobby. And uh, Hobby Lobby don't have as many colors. I did try the hologram. That that one works pretty good. Oh wow! <laughs> well, the the bugs got really little bugs, <laughs> and the bird. Wow, <laughs> that might look cute though. Oh wow, they are really tiny. So, this is what I wanted to show you today. I, like I said, I am impressed with it. It, how it works and I, I ran and got mine at Walmart let me unplug this quick and I think I only paid nine dollars for it I did see them that they're like nine between eight and nine but you got your shipping and everything mine mine was close but I let it cool down no I'm not going to use it for any kind of food this is definitely only a craft one I might have some more uses for that, but I don't know yet what I'm going to be doing with it. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you, you know, what you can all get done with it. Bunny rabbits are puffy, too. They look like glass. I think she was going to use some for brooches, the way I understood and if you have a lot of different kinds of cut out, wood cutouts and you don't know what to do with them, like this definitely make a cute little brooch to put on. Even if you put the backing on to, for a hat or something and decorate it or a junk journal and everything. The bees, the bees are little bees. Very little. So is the bird. Well, this is what I want to show you today, and hey, thanks for watching on my channel again, and welcome back. That Like and subscribe, and um, I'll see what I can show you next time. Thank you.